My dear students, we have explained what is pyrolysis and how this reaction occurs. What is ethane breaks down, cracks into ethene plus two molecules of methane and hydrogen. It is nothing but a lysis, a breaking down of reaction in presence of heat. And in this video, we are going to talk about how exactly the mechanism proceeds. My dear students, remember this, that whenever we talk about alkanes, we should know that the mechanism proceeds via free radical mechanism. My dear students, please watch my videos on free radicals so that you know how they are generated, what is the stability, what is the fate of free radicals and you understand these uh, mechanisms even in a better way. Please come back to this mechanism wherein it is going to follow a free radical mechanism. Let us start explaining the mechanism of action. Always remember that a free radical mechanism always starts with a step called as initiation. So what is happening here? Have a look. We are taking for example a molecule of ethane. The first one out of the three I am utilizing the first one. That is how you will remember how to write it also. We are taking the first molecule of ethane first. Okay. We will apply heat, high temperature. What we are going to do? We are going to do cracking, breaking down. And what happens here is homolysis. Right? Please watch my video on the concept of homolysis. That means both the electrons are shared equally and there is formation of a free radical. Yes. So what is formed? Methyl free radicals are formed. Now what happens in the second step? Always whenever a reaction is initiated, there is propagation that occurs in the second step. Now this is how it happens. This is for example your methyl free radical which was formed. And this attacks the second molecule of ethane. For example, methyl free radical attacks the second molecule of ethane. Okay? Here, the second molecule of ethane is involved. Okay? For the sake of convenience, I am writing this as H and this is CH2. So now what happens? See, this for example, there is again a homolytic fission. And CH3 combines with this H to give you a methane. CH3 plus H gives you CH4. And what remains is a ethyl free radical. A ethyl free radical is formed. Right? Now what happens in the third step? Have a look. This ethyl free radical somehow quietens the reaction like this. CH3 for example, I will write it in the same way as I wrote it there. CH2 free radical and this is CH3. This is your ethyl free radical. Now what will happen here? Have a look at this. See, suppose I write this as CH2 and this as H again now. Then see what happens here. This is nothing but another homolytic fission. A fish arrow, another fish arrow because only one electron is moving. And we get what? A CH2 double bond CH2. A bond already tha. Dono electrons make a A double bond by the way. And what remains is a H free radical. What remains is the H free radical. Now see what is happening. We have already engaged two ethane molecules. The first one and the second one here. Now comes the role of the third one. This H free radical attacks the next molecule of ethane. The next molecule of ethane. And now what do we get? Now what do we get? See, again for the sake of convenience, I write it as CH2 and H. This is nothing but nothing but two electrons. So this electron and this electron together becomes H2. Right? And what remains here is another ethyl free radical. Right? Another ethyl free radical remains. Now dear students, what happens here is that 
the step 3 and 4, this one 3 and this one 4, wherein we are starting from a free radical and we are ending up in another free radical. We are starting from a free radical and we are ending in another free radical. In both these steps, this is called as a propagation step. Fela te rena, fela te rata. So, ye 3 or 4 continuously hote rahenge. It's a chain reaction. It will be continuously there. Till the time, till the time, you know, either ethane will get exhausted or hydrogen will get exhausted. And there will be a time when that will come where this CH2, CH3 free radical will combine with this H free radical to become ethane. Ab agar ye ethane bhi ban to again this ethane will show the reaction once again. And this reaction keeps on, keeps on continuing till nothing is left behind and all the ethane is being broken down into either ethane, methane or hydrogen gas is liberated. This is what is called as pyrolysis and this is how the mechanism proceeds. You can quickly take a screenshot of this reaction wherein we have explained how pyrolysis takes place in alkanes. Please do that and keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. If you like this video, do share it with your friends. Thank you.